Hi, it's Samuel Leeds here, and in this video, I want to explain exactly what to do if you've got so many different property deals coming your way that you don't even know which one to choose. If that's you, then stay tuned. If it's not, it will be one day, so stay tuned anyway. So people that say they've got too many deals to choose from, they're either lying to look really cool, or they genuinely have got so many deals to choose from. If they really have got too many deals to choose from, they're either gonna be starting out and they've only got a little bit of money, they don't know where to put it, or they've been going for a while and they're just getting deal after deal after deal and they can't keep up with the finance of it. And it's like, I mean, you know, you can't buy everything good. So let me address both. If you're the first person, if you're the person who is just starting out and you've got lots of deals, I would just say, just, just buy one, buy the one that you feel is the best. The one that's going to give you the best return on investment because it's all about what you put in, what you get out. So which one's giving you the best return on investment? Which one's making the most money? And then buy that one. Take your feelings out of this. If you're person two, whereby you've been going a while, you've got some good investments, you've got some good experience, and you're just finding loads and loads of good deals, firstly, congratulations. That's a brilliant problem to have. What I would suggest is, if that's you, then that's, maybe it's time to start thinking about raising finance. Maybe it's time to start thinking about joint venturing, and maybe it's time to start thinking about deal sourcing and packaging for other investors. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you've got 10 properties already, you're looking for an 11th, but then you find another five, and it's like, oh my gosh, which one do I buy? Well, buy one, and then with the other four, what are you gonna do? You can either just let them go down the drain, or you can still make money on them. In order to make a, a money on a property deal that you can't finance, you could borrow money from somebody else, and then pay them say 10% or whatever, and then buy the property. And then if you're making 20, 30%, but you're paying them 10, and they don't even have a stake in the property, you're winning. Number two, you can joint venture. You can find somebody who's got the money, but you've got the experience and the expertise, and you say, let's team up. You put the money in, I'll put my expertise in, we go 50-50 on the profits. Or number three, which is the easiest and the fastest way to earn quick cash, I love it, which is deal sourcing. That's when you, uh, you take the opportunity, you negotiate the price, you package it up, and then you pass it on to an investor. You marry up a good investment to a good investor, and you charge a fee in the middle. Last year, we, we, we married up 136 deals with property investors, and each deal was giving us a fee of maybe two, three, four thousand pound. You can do the math. You can make pretty good money deal sourcing. There are, um, you know, you do need to be good. You do need to know what you're doing. You need to be compliant, but it's definitely something I'd consider if you're finding lots of deals. So don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you're struggling getting your first deal, then just stay focused. Don't worry about all this stuff. But uh, anyway, check out the rest of my videos. I hope you find them useful. Please do comment, share, subscribe, like, and I hope to meet you in person one day. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. If you benefited from that video, please do share it with your family and friends. For more videos like it, you can watch right here. And if you'd like to spend two days with me at the Property Investors Crash Course, watch this video, see what happens. But whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe right here, and I'll see you next time.